Firefighters are the ones who rush in when we need help. And they don't just put out fires. They are first responders to medical emergencies, rescues, car crashes, and so much more. This weekend, the International Association of Firefighters and New Mexico Professional Firefighters Association wanted to put local leaders and the media in their boots. And it was an eye-opening experience. For these men and women, this is all in a day's work. <laughs> but we are about to learn just how hard that day's work is. We get sized for our gear. By my side, Those goes, you know. Mayor Tim Keller, Michelle. Congresswoman Michelle Lujan Grisham, <laughs> Albuquerque Police Chief Mike Geyer, <laughs> and many other local leaders. The goal, to give us a tiny glimpse of the life of a firefighter. We've got to understand what they're going through. We see what we're about to endure. We're going to have one of our firefighters on the level who can actually control the fire. Inside an actual burn room. So you'll be using tap out timeout to give them that signal to stand up and we're all going to leave at the same time. A luxury real firefighters don't always get. Then it's time to suit up for real. Each of us with a Wrangler by our side. Mine, Brian Breezewine. For some reason, we're in the fire and we no longer have an air. A real firefighter rush, by my side every step of the way. All right, group one, let's walk to the burn building, please. And we're off <laughs> to take on this. <laughs> one last check. Brian asks if I'm ready. And off we go. All I can hear is the sound of myself breathing and faint instructions being shouted at me. Then, darkness and fire. I do my best to listen, but can't make out the words. My wrangler tells me to get down on one knee as the heat grows more intense. The temperature at one point reaches 1,000 degrees. The smoke thickens and we wait for 10 minutes. Then, I help put out the fire. Then, we emerge back into the light. What are your thoughts on what you just experienced? Um, it was interesting. It was exciting. With our adrenaline still pumping, we talk about what we endured. What's your impression on what it would be like to go on to one of these emergency scenes? Um, stressful. Stressful. Like I said, trying to think on your feet, knowing there's other people you have to take care of. It's probably a checklist of what you have to do. We were just observers, and it was hard to just breathe and think and stay and just withstand the heat, much less having to do all these other things. So a lot of admiration for you guys. And our day was just beginning. We were tasked with putting out a car fire. Not easy when it's your first time behind a hose pumping out 150 gallons of water a minute. So how was it? It was good. It was much heavier and harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> Our next challenge, hey. getting to the top of this. So you guys are going to ascend the ladder, and then after your ascension, doing the primary search. It is a long way up. Your angler will come up behind you. Um, you need help. I'm up first. Getting up was fairly easy. Getting off the ladder, not so much. I wait for the rest of my crew to make it to the top. Then we must conduct a room search. To make it more like a real fire, we're blinded. My camera can see, I cannot. We maneuver around the room looking for victims. We also get a chance to ride in Bernalillo County Fire's new ladder truck. Right now we're 78 feet above the ground. Used in rescues. Uh, you probably heard him say but, uh, more than a hundred foot ladder. All of our cardiac arrests are work on scene. And get to perform one of the most important things firefighters do. Now I'm going to have the rest of my crew responding to medical calls. I don't want any deposits in CPR. 
They actually make up 85% of the calls AFD answers each and every day. Has anybody been in a uh, motor vehicle accident with an airbag deployment? One of the other most common calls? So we find patients that have uh, broken orbits, broken noses, broken jaws, and quite often are in some state of respiratory distress. Dealing with car crashes. Pick the arrow tires. Now this vehicle really doesn't want to go anywhere. But getting patients out isn't always so easy. Start to stabilize this vehicle. Firefighters have to first make sure they are safe. <laughs> then get to the patient. I am tasked with going into the window, Dukes of Hazard style. Hey buddy, how are you? Well, everyone else works to get our patient out. <laughs> with the jaws of life. It takes a few tries. A few different tools and some critical thinking. All right, we're gonna get that door out of the way. And this is what these men and women do each and every day. <laughs> Now, as we've mentioned to you recently, AFD has the highest call volume per firefighter in the nation right now. Part of this exercise was to show leaders what they and the many other departments across the state are dealing with.